Hi, this is Emma, and in this video, I will be showing you how to make a bowling pin and a bowling ball on the rainbow loom. First, we, we will be making the bowling ball. Use whatever color you want. First, we will be making the bowling ball. So, for the bowling ball, make sure that the arrow is facing away from you and that the position of the loom is the middle is sticking out a little bit. So now take two rubber bands and place them going diagonally to the left. Then take another two bands and make them go diagonally, I mean straight, forward. And then another two diagonally to the middle. And these are all double bands. I'm going to use tie-dye because I think it looks cool for a bowling ball. Now you're going to do the other side, diagonally from the middle. straight up and back to the middle. Now we are going to have to do some in the middle. Now to take two rubber bands and place them right here and another two right here. Now you're going to lay the cap bands, so put a single rubber band right here, and then you're going to make a cap band right here, and you're going to loop it around three times. This is what it should look like. And now you're going to take your hook, and we are going to start looming. So you're going to push back your cap band, and you're going to grab the rubber bands that go forward, just like that. Now you're going to reach back in and grab the rubber band that is next on top. Mine is the rubber band that goes to the left. You're going to bring it to the left. Now you're going to reach in again. You're going to grab the rubber band that goes to the right, and you're going to bring it to the right. So it should look just like this. Now you're going to reach in again in the middle and grab the rubber band and bring it forward. And do the same thing on the left side. Now you will reach in on the right side and grab the bottom two. Make sure you don't get stuck on any of the cap bands. Bring it forward. You can reach in and grab this rubber band and bring it to the middle. And you can do the same thing on the left side. So now we are going to put a rubber band through. We're going to stick our hook through. We're going to grab our rubber band. Pull it through. Grab the other side and create a slip knot. And pull it. Now we can take it off. Don't just leave all the pressure on this one rubber band. You can take some off with your hook. After you adjust it a little bit, it should look just like a bowling ball. So this is what the bowling ball should look like. Now we're going to make the bowling pin. To start, make sure that your loom is in a position where all the pegs are together. So you have to take out the middle. And make sure it's equal with all the other pegs. So it should be equal, it's like this. So now you're going to take one white rubber band 
and place it right here. That is going to be the part that is like the charm part. And you're going to take two of our bands, place them from here to the middle. Then you're going to do that on the other side. Place them from here to the middle. And then you're just going to place one rubber band down the middle. So we should have three rubber bands here, but they should all be two rubber bands. So we should have three different rubber bands here, and then one rubber band here. But these are all with two. So now take another two, place them right here. Another two, right here. And then the last two, I'm going to make another row, two here, another two here, another two here. So right now we have two rows, we have them both all going to the middle peg and then one rubber band right here for the charm part. So now we're going to take another two, two more. And then the last two. Now we're going to be making this part. Instead of red, I'm going to be using this blue. Place it right here. And you're going to be using two of the blue. Two right here. And another two right there. So we should have three rows of white and one row of blue. Now we're going to go back to white, put two right here, two right here, and the last two go right here. So we just have one row after the blue right now. And take another two, put them right here, and two more again in the middle, and then on the right side, you're going to take two more, again. So we should have two rows after the blue, and three rows before the blue. So now, you're going to take another two white, place them right here, take another two, place them right here, and another two, right here. Take two more white again, and you're just going to make another row using two rubber bands each. Now we should have four rows after the blue. So now we're into our last two rows. One. Now our last row. So, this is what it should look like. We're going to have three before the blue, and then six after the blue. Now you're going to take one single band and place it right here for a cap band. You're going to take another single rubber band and place it right here. You're going to take another single band, again, place it right here. Now we're going to take a blue rubber band. We're not just going to do it one time. We're going to take it and place it so it's doubled. So it should look like that, not just a single. Then we're going to take another blue, place it here, and then we're going to double it again. So both of these should be doubled. So now you're going to go back to white. I'm just going to place one single band right here. Take another single band and place it right here. And then another single band right here. 
So, we only have three more rows left. One right here. And one right here. For the last one, you're going to take your rubber band and you're going to twist it again and then put it on the loom. So we should have a single rubber band, a single rubber band, a single rubber band, a double looped rubber band, a double looped rubber band, a single band, a single band, single band, a single band, a single band, and a double looped band. This will give the middle the bowling pin shape at in the bottom a nice round shape. So now we are going to turn our loom around so we can do all of the looming. So take your hook push it back this double loops band and grab the bottom rubber bands. It might be hard to get them because this band is very hard to get through. Then you're going to do the middle and this side. The next part is very tricky. So you're going to take this rubber band off both sides with your hook and then place it over the middle like that. Then you can loom in the middle, bring the two rubber bands forward. This part is for the bottom, so it's not like the end of like a triple single, it makes it like come in. Then you're gonna do the left side, bring it forward. If any of the rubber bands start to come off, you can just put them right back on. Then you're going to do the right side, grab the bottom two, place them going forward. So now we did our first row. This is what it should look like. So now we'll loom from the right side, bring it forward. And then we're going to loom in the middle, bring those two forward and then the left side. Some rubber bands might be easier than others due to the cap band being a single or a double or depending on how stretchy the rubber bands are. Then you're gonna loop again in the middle and then on either side and then on the other side. Then you're gonna do it again in the middle and then again on the side Then you do it again on the right side. So, this is what we did so far. And now we have one more row before we go into the rubber bands that are extra tight. Bring this forward. Bring this forward. And bring this last band forward. For this part, you should do it carefully so you do not break your hook. Forward. Okay, now for the last one. Forward. Now we're going to loop the next set. So you're going to loop the middle, then the left side. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause and then go right back to where you are. And you're gonna do the middle again. And do the left side. Okay, now we're just going to do the right side. So now we have one more and then we're gonna have to loop to the middle peg. So Bring these forward, and in the middle, bring it forward, and then on the right side. And now you're going to go back to the left side, you're going to get the rubber band, and you're going to bring it all the way to the middle. And then you're going to do the middle. In the center or the middle, it's the same thing as you were doing the whole way down. Just on the sides, they're just going to go to the middle peg. Then the right side, bring it to the middle. 
So now we loomed all the bands. Now we're just going to have to reach and get this bottom band. So you can reach in, get all the way to the bottom, and get this band. You can bring it here. Take it off. You create a slip knot by pulling this rubber band through this band. And then you're going to pull tight. And don't just pull by this rubber band because then the whole thing could break and yeah. You should pull in here, but make sure you don't go too tight because that's the way you could break your hook. After you tweak it a little bit, it will look really good. It might come out with some loose bands, but you just have to tuck them in and stuff. So yeah, that is how you make bowling pins and bowling balls. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Bye! Comment down below which bowling ball you like more.